What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today we're talking about a renaissance man, Sigmund Freud to be exact. One of the most, if not the ultimate, psychologist in the field of psychology. And the main thing I want to talk about is sublimation. And for those of you who aren't familiar with what that is, I'm going to discuss it in a moment. But essentially, Freud created a field in psychology called psychoanalysis. And it's something you guys are very familiar with. If, if you ever imagine, if you've ever seen things of, uh, you know, movies or cartoons with like Sigmund Freud or psychologists, you, you'll see someone doing psychoanalysis. It's where the patient is lying down on the couch and they're talking about their dreams or their early childhood experiences and sometimes it's they're looking at a sheet of paper that has like an ink blot on there and they're supposed to describe what it is and the thing is Freud was very groundbreaking in what he did and and he galvanized the community whether they loved him or hated him, he created such a stir of energy and information that it completely changed the field of psychology. And so when we look at psychoanalysis, there are several different pieces to that puzzle. But one of the things I want to talk about is coping mechanisms. And Freud said in his work that there were multiple types of coping mechanisms. Um, denial is one and we've all seen denial when someone you know when someone dies and the first reaction for a lot of people is no that can't be possible when September 11th happened I know for me I heard it over the radio and I was like this is impossible is this really happening in America that was me using the coping mechanism of denial um, so that I could go throughout my day Freud stipulated that many of these coping mechanisms, and there are multiple ones, where today's video is, the scope of the video is not to talk about the coping mechanisms. It's only to talk about one. In later videos, we're going to talk about Freud, psychoanalysis, and um, all the coping mechanisms. But for today, what I want to focus on, focus on is sublimation. Because Freud believed that of all the the coping mechanisms there was really only one that was positive there was really only one that led to growth and benefited humankind as a whole and he called it sublimation and essentially what sublimation is is when we take whatever it is that truly troubles us our deep neuros neurosis and we focus on it so much that we turn it into a vocation that it becomes our life's work and so one of the greatest examples of this is Leonardo da Vinci and actually Freud wrote a, a, a work kind of analyzing Leonardo da Vinci and all of his projects and works and in it he said that through da Vinci's sublimation he was able to take his deep neurosis and turn it into something into his not only his life's work but into something that benefited humankind as a whole and so what does that mean that means finding those things that you're deeply passionate about sometimes those are things that you're really engaged in and love and and just they they really light you up other times it can be something that really angers you, makes you upset, or maybe hurt you in the past. The point is it has to be deeply seated in your mind, deeply seated with emotions. And, and the reason is because that's what gives a person the drive and the energy to continue on through a life's work. If you just, put, if you just picked something that was boring then 
it's really difficult to when the failure comes, the distractions come, the disappointment comes to stay focused. But essentially what Freud said was when someone locks into those things that really engage a person's mind, that really bother them, both in a good way and in a bad way, and they and they cope with it by making it into their life's work. So for example, an artist would use art, a writer would write, a politician would use their political skills and abilities to help better the situation. Then that that then becomes a positive thing because what happens is you the person are growing as you go on this journey to fully understand and fully actualize the the topic the, the whatever it is that's that's really bothering you or engaging you and furthermore as you go through and you're creating all of these things and developing yourself, you yourself and all of your creations become assets to humankind as a whole. So Steve Jobs is another great example who you could look at and see that his deep rooted passion was how technology could be used to change the world and because he focused on that and he used his his coping mechanism was sublimation instead of denial or projection or all the other things that are all the other different coping mechanisms he was able to turn that passion instead of a negative force he was able to turn it into a positive force that was able to bring our generation into a new era of technology and and communication and interaction so that you know things that weren't possible just a decade ago are now common place and and the the more people that we have out there the more polymaths that we have out there who can find their passion and use sublimation as a coping mechanism to turn it into their life's work, um, the better we all are, the better that person, that individual becomes, and also the better that all those who benefit from their work becomes. So anyways, I guess I'd like to leave you guys with this as an action point, is think about today. What are those things that have always either really excited you or really bothered you? What are those problems out there that you find yourself constantly being mm, energized by? And then if you haven't already, what could you do to help fix those things, to make them better, right? Uh, in one of my earlier speeches, I said, you know, back in the day, just a, a short time ago, people didn't have the ability to read, listen to music, talk on the telephone, check the news, all on one device. They were all separated. And Steve Jobs and the people at Apple said, no we have found a better way we have found some a way that you can take all of those things and put them into a device where you don't need buttons but the buttons can form different to each different app and to each different mm, purpose that you have on that device and it totally revolutionized the way we did things and i'm not saying this because i think that steve, steve jobs was great but everybody you and I and everybody has that same greatness inside of them. It's just a matter of unlocking it. And the first thing is finding out what are those things deep in your neurosis that drive you. And then instead of complaining about them or denying that they're there or 
projecting onto others, you know, why the world is wrong because of it, turn it into something where you will grow and others will, can benefit from it. That's sublimation. That is one of the greatest things that we as people can do. Okay, so until next time, you guys, take it easy.